welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to be looking at your best builds members of my discord have all submitted creations in which they think are their best creations in scrap mechanic and in this video i'm going to be showing off the ones that stood out to me the most and we are starting off with diner by professor incognito all right check this out before we even go inside we've got the neon lights the fresh signs spinning around two different colors too which is kind of cool and i was going through these creations and there were so many like top-notch creations that i wish i could have shown them all but that would end up being like it would be a three-hour video and is this literally just a pile of trash there's one bearing all of it looked like it was so randomly assorted but it was it's just this one little thing on a bearing that makes it all seem jumbled up but everything else is on the 90 degree build grid how interesting all right here we go let's close the front doors and uh take a look around here oh this is already the kitchen okay so we got the front area we got the bar area oh what does this do this is hooked up to oh did that open the front door wait this is hooked into this which is hooked into this which says it's hooked into the front door wait the front door is not working anymore is this an escape is it secretly an escape room <laughs> did i trap myself in the escape room somehow all right well front door oh now it works oh it's the emergency lock oh that's also clever so when this switch is on they can't open the door so if you have somebody in here come and try to rob you you press the panic button and they can't get out then you just call the police and they're stuck in there with you we got a jukebox of course you can play some awesome tunes on there and then we go back into the kitchen all right doesn't seem like a very big kitchen hopefully they're not having too many customers they got a couple of burners over here and then a big old grill all right where do these stairs lead oh all right we have a little balcony seating area here oh in the bathroom so you have to go outside for the bathrooms all right and then this must be like the office or something oh no it's just the roof all right i don't know what this is gonna do this goes down to there is that, is that like the master switch for everything in here man such cool choices of uh what parts to use yeah that actually turns off the sign and i think probably everything else too oh uh, maybe maybe not everything else but some other things all right i can't spend too long on all the creations but i think i looked at pretty much everything that one had to offer great attention to detail uh as you would expect from the scrapyard community all right up next is the ultra 4 race truck remastered by jostet i don't know how to pronounce some of these names in other languages and this thing looks like it's got some crazy suspension this is gonna be fun to drive around I can already tell. Let's take a look at the wiring. What? There's a whole logic panel back here. What is that even going to do? It has a startup sound. All right. I don't know what these buttons do yet. There wasn't any like description. Okay. Turns all right. I don't really see the suspension doing much yet. Like I'm wondering if this button is uh, like gears. Oh, it totally is. Look at that. All right. So now we're in like rock crawler mode now. And then we can up the gear. Okay. This is cool. What's number three going to do? Whoa! Okay, number three is apparently the uh, flip over the nose button. All right, hold on. Let me try this again. Oh, number three must be... Wait, what is number three? Number three seems to be the, like, activate minimum gear instantly mode. All right, what is number four going to do? Four is lights. Not sure what five does. All right, not sure about number five or six. All right, but... Oh, look at this. We even have a dashboard here. We got speed. Let's just put it up to max for now. And we gotta find a good rock crawling area. All right, well, we got a rock jump. So that's something. <laughs> Did that perfectly. And actually, this spot looks kind of nice, doesn't it? All right, let's go down. Uh, press number three, we'll go into the minimum gear. Whopping six unit speeds, five unit speeds. All right, well, look at this. This thing has torque. Oh, we're bottomed out though. Torque isn't any good if you don't have any ground contact. All right, here, let's try this way. Oh yeah. Woo, woo. Okay, look at that. Look at that suspension working too. Right, let's try another section and really pay attention to the suspension here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. You can see like the stopping areas too that prevent it from going too much. That's pretty cool. All right, back into the open air and activate low gear mode. <laughs> That's our braking system. All right, up next by Kivion. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is Explosive Minesweeper. All right, so apparently we interact with this by uh, shooting. Oh my goodness. So we can select the number of bombs that we want. So there's 96 squares on this. So I don't know, let's go with like 20, 20 bombs. Now we press play. I've never seen this system. It is actually generating the bombs right now. This is cool. I've never seen this type of system where you have panels that you just shoot with a spud gun and then they logically respond to your shooting. 
So I'm not 100% uh, on how to like place flags and like detect bombs and stuff, but let's see how I do with 20 bombs here. Well, obviously I gotta, wait, so let me, okay, so that's flag and this is to like get rid of the square. So let's hope for the best. All right, let's cut it down to 15 bombs. Maybe give myself a little bit of a fighting chance here to try to uh, get some open space and some actual numbers to look at instead of just bomb in my face. All right, uh, I'm gonna go for the corners this time. Oh boy, how about that corner? There we go, it's something... Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna go for all four corners. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now, now I've got something to go on. Okay, there we go, we got that. We got that. Um, all of this is open, non-bombs, that's a bomb. Um, okay, hold on. That's a bomb, that's a bomb, this is not a bomb. Um, those two are bombs. These three are four are bombs. That's not a bomb. Okay. And then that's not a bomb. That, that, okay. I think we're doing good. I think we are doing good so far. So then that and that are not bombs. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is all bombs. That's all bombs. Um, I know I, I can use the flag if I want to. See, I can mark that with a flag. They can mark these all flags. There we go. Oh, I think I actually have to do that. It's it's showing me um, the number of bombs left, I guess, when I use a flag. So then that is a bomb, and that is a bomb, which means this one is not a bomb. I have six left. Okay, so then one, two, three, four. That one's a bomb. Okay, that one is a bomb. Okay, then this one is not a bomb, and neither is that, 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 or that, or that, or that, or that. Okay. I have four bombs left, and I do know that that one is definitely a bomb, and that one is definitely a bomb. Whoops, too far away for the logic there. I know that that one's a bomb, and that one is a bomb, and now I have zero bombs left, so I think I have completed it. There we go, look at that, zero bombs left. Well, if I guess if I wanted to, I could just shoot uh, one of these to explode it, right? Oh, it actually, oh, that's nice. It actually doesn't let you accidentally shoot where the bombs are. As long as you have a flag there. But if I get rid of the flag, and then I shoot it, there we go. That's where the bombs are. That is so cool. Really, really well built. Okay, up next by Deet010101. This is a wave walker. And the reason why I selected this... Oh my goodness, it's laggy. This reminds me of uh, the wave tables I built a while back. And I figured it might be satisfying to watch. And oh my goodness, is this really how this is going to walk? Oh, look at once it gets up. Oh, this is actually super satisfying. You know what would make this even more satisfying? We need to time lapse this. So we need to make this go faster because we're kind of in slow motion right now. Okay, was that cool or what? Pretty straightforward, exactly what it does. Meets all expectations. Actually, it kind of surpassed them a little bit. That was pretty satisfying. Okay, up next by Dish of Lanzagna. Not lasagna. This is Lanzagna. This is the MT bike. And this thing looks pretty unique. Look at the design. This is actually, this is really big. All right, I'm just going to push buttons. Whoa, look at those lasers. Going to push buttons and see what happens. Oh, uh, whoa. What are those? Those are pretty interesting. Oh, there's an up and the down function. That's what the buttons do. All right, number one goes up, and then number two goes down. So then we can control our height like this. Oh, this thing turns so cool too, the way it leans into the turns. Let's skim the ground. It looks so much cooler when you're like really close to the ground for some reason in these things. Oh, oh, I hit the ground a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm fine. Oh yeah, I forgot we have guns too. Oh, look at the explosions. I didn't even realize that the lasers explode on the ground. That kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? I don't know. Explosive lasers. All right, well, that is a really cool futuristic hover bike. How do I get down? There we go. Ow. Don't worry. It's state-of-the-art safety system. All right, so up next, we have the QR Bayer Garrett Class uh, Locomotive 7U. I'm pretty sure I pronounced some of that wrong. This is by Joe Train Gamer. Now, unfortunately, I do not have actual train uh tracks on this map oh my goodness i guess i wouldn't even be able to use it anyway because like this is so laggy hold on let me try let me try lowering the physics here a little bit let's go down a simple seven all right this is a little bit more tolerable i'm just hoping hoping things are gonna still be functional um because it looks like there's a lot 
There's a lot of interesting mechanisms on here with the wheels and stuff. All right, so I don't have any, uh, I don't have any tracks, unfortunately, but I mean, it's a train. It probably goes forward. You know, I think it, this is definitely more about the aesthetic because I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at the aesthetics of this. Like, this is so well built and it's probably modeled after whatever the name is that I said. It probably looks just like it. All right, can I please get in to the seat here? There we go, finally. I'm a conductor. Oh, look at this. Really clever use of the uh, burnt wood, the embers from the ember forest. All right, it looks like this seat has a bunch of buttons on it. Oh yeah, there we go. Whoa, look at that. That's some pretty complex uh, linkages going on there. All right, number two. All right, not sure what number two does. Uh, number three. Oh my God. <laughs> it has thrust so I can actually go across the ground. I don't think it's supposed to be doing this, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. All right, uh, number four. Not sure what the number four does. I think there's... That's a really nice horn sound. Oh, we got some coal in the back there. Don't know what number five does. Here, let me um, let me get out of my seat. Oh, I might be stuck. No, I'm good. All right, so we have drive, oh, reverse, and then thruster assist, headlights, whistle, and steam effects when stopped. Okay, I wanna see that. Number six. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Using collisions to create the smoke coming out of the smokestack there. It doesn't go very high, but you know, you do what you can as Scrap Mechanic. All right, another incredible build for the community here. This is just, some of you guys spend so much time on this stuff. I mean, who am I to say? I've got like 3,000 hours in Scrap Mechanic now, so. But they're not all on one creation, okay? Unless my channel counts as a creation. All right, up next by Laser Sailor, we have Ornithopter 8. So uh, apparently they've gone, they've gone through some Ornithopter experience before getting to this one. And look at these wings. I kind of feel like these wings sh aren't gonna work. Like, they're too heavy. Am I in the wrong- Do I have the wrong settings for this? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh... Alright, well, I'm gonna push buttons and just see what happens. Oh, boy. Wait, what? What is going on? This doesn't- This doesn't feel right. I'm just gonna say it right now, this is- Wait, is this gonna- There's no way this is gonna work. This can't. Oh, I got physics down. Hold on, hold on. Turn the physics back up. Oh, now I'm seeing it. All right, well, I press number one and it like activates some type of gear to like go up. And then when I release number one, it changes them so we, how does this even work? Is this cheating or is this an actual ornithopter? Like that's the real question here. Are these wings really doing all the work? I can even go like up and down. I can turn to the left and turn to the right way. So if I press W, it makes me lean forward somehow. I have, I have some questions. How is this thing working is my main question. All right, here, let's go back down. Whoa! Okay, when I when I press number five and deactivate it, all the wings go up, go to the back like that. Okay, hold on. Whoa! Whoa, look at how much logic is in here. What? Yeah, see, I have no idea. I literally cannot possibly fathom how this thing actually works. I don't know if it is completely aerodynamics based with these wings or not. But you know what? I'm just going to assume the best because this is the um, best builds. And I'm going to assume that these wings are doing all the work. And it's all of this crazy programming that actually makes them ornithopt their way to uh to functionality somehow <laughs> all right up next by dragon mech 2 this is called the half map racer and i thought it looked pretty cool i don't know what half map means uh for this but let's let's see if we can get across half the map at least here we go oh boy oh it is definitely fast but how controllable is it wait this isn't how steering is supposed to work okay well it's working my wheels what my wheels don't make any sense, but somehow it works. When I go to turn to the right, my front and back left wheels do turning. And when I go to turn to the left, only... I don't understand. That, that, that doesn't make any sense, but this thing's pretty fun to drive around. Look, look at those spoilers. Look at those spoilers. Oh, we're going to go off and jump right now. You guys ready for this? There we go. Whee! Okay, that was a little underwhelming. I think I bottomed out a little bit and lost some speed. Line up. And... All right, that did not do better. Oh, this thing has downforce. I I mean, it feels like it has downforce at least. There must be some downforce in here somewhere. Oh, look at first person. First person looks really cool. 
Oh, this does look really cool in first person. This was built to be in first person. All right, I'm gonna crash into a tree and see what happens. Here we go. And... All right, all that state-of-the-art safety system, and I'm perfectly fine. Okay, up next by G. Vakin, uh, the Operation Byzantine. This looks like a crazy, very scrap-like, steampunky, magnificent machine. Um, how... There must be a driver's seat. It looks like it's way back there. And it's got... Wait, it has frictionless blocks on... Is this only a one-wheeled vehicle that has friction... What is this? Oh! Okay, all right, that kind of scared me. There's apparently a lift. Okay. Well, I guess this is how I get up and do it. Oh my goodness, you have to crouch. You have to... I am too tall for this ride. All right, nothing goes to that seat. Wait, what is this now? Is this just... I don't understand what this is. Just, just a thing? Just, okay, had fun. That was a fun game. Good game. Man, what is this place? Why is it so short? Um, where does this go? Am I supposed to be going down here? Where's the seat again? The seat's over there. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if there's any rhyme or reason to some of this stuff. What is this? I don't know what that just did. I don't even know it did anything. Wait, no, was this the way? I think it was this way. Oh, there's an arrow pointing me. Okay, well now what? This arrow was kind of pointless. <laughs> I think it's... Ah, I get it. This arrow was pointless. It's kind of a, the opposite of what an arrow does. It... It's pointful. But uh, I gotta say, this arrow's not making any good points right now. That's a bad point. Okay, so this is kind of like almost an escape room at the same time. Man, what is all of... What is that? What is this for? This is... The, this is the mo most slapstick put together machine. Why is there a toilet facing this way? There's nothing attached. To, okay, there's a duck there. This is just chaos. This is pure chaos. Is this the kitchen? I think I found the kitchen. We got a stove top. There we go. And then we got a sink. I found something that makes a little bit of sense. Now, how do I get to the drivers? You know what? I'm back down here. Let me just go back up <laughs> this way. Is this what it's actually like in those uh, steampunk machines? I got to get over there somehow. What about if I go out here? Oh my goodness. Jump up here. Here we go. We're kind of on top now. This is starting to feel a little bit less claustrophobic. Oh, look at that little dining area down there. This area looks like it's it's a nice, elegant, although very cluttered still, but like a nice open air patio or something. But what, what is the way to get to the driver's seat? Is this a driver's seat? Do I have it? Oh my goodness. I, I didn't know that this was the front. Oh, there I am. This is crazy. All right, and then I turn. It actually turns too. It literally slides across the ground. This thing's not getting over anything other than perfectly flat terrain. Is this not the craziest vehicle you've ever seen though? This is probably one of the craziest vehicles I've ever seen. Look at this thing. This doesn't make any sense. It's awesome to watch though. It's just, this is so cool to watch. All right, we got to get on to some other creations though. This is, um, how do I get out of here? I'm just gonna, there, I just, can I, please let me out. Please let me out. Thank you. All right, up next by Dark. This is Alien Cathedral, and this was actually originally submitted to the uh, Mars Colony series. So this is something that I wanted to uh, look at back when I was doing the Mars series, but it didn't really have a place that I could uh, fit it into the story. And it was also way, way, way too big with how laggy the map was. It's so big, in fact, even in this giant open area, it's not letting me spawn it in. Oh, here we go. I had to crouch myself. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be really, really laggy, isn't it? This is gonna be really rough. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get this thing welded. All right, I got it. Uh, this sound doesn't sound very good, but look at the, look at the scale of this thing. I love the designs on the wall here. I even like the asymmetry of it. That's really cool. All right, uh, let's get up in here. Oh, it opens automatically. All right, come on. Open up. There we go. All right, so wh what is this? Little oh, whoops. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Hope you didn't put a lot of time into this place. I just come in here and start wrecking it. So apparently this isn't 100% finished. Oh, interesting fireplace. But there are a, a handful of rooms that are, have been finished. Now, this is where the noise is coming from. This is the dust corner. This is where to go to get your dust fix. All right, what have we got down here? Wait, is this like... It's like a crib? Oh, it's like a little stroller. Look at that. Wait, is there like a button? Oh, okay. Interesting. This is interesting. Oh, we got some supplies. This doesn't look like just medical supplies. This looks like some kind of apothecary or something. This is like an enchantment table. 
I don't, I don't know what this stuff is. And then there's, for some reason, why are babies involved in this process? What was going to be happening on the Mars colony if I spawned this place in? All right, we have your classic storage room with your materials. All right, and then it looks like if I go across over here, there's another stairway up to another level. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, you gotta have an absurdly long table where the person at either end of the table can't even, uh, can't even hear each other. Ooh, that's cool. Why do I feel like this moves? Maybe not. Some of, there are controllers, but I don't think it actually is designed to move. Man, look at these windows. Look at those support beams. Wow. And this is like a giant... I'm very small for this kitchen. Apparently, this kitchen was not built for my kind. I've been here before where you've built something. You've built the foundation and like the, the shape of it, the outside of it, and you've built it way, way too massive uh, where you didn't even know what to fill it with. That's kind of... I feel like that's where you got with this one, and I've been there before where I was I was way too ambitious, started off with way too big of a frame, and then didn't know what to, how to fill it in. But man, just the, just the frame itself is an amazing build. All right, up next, we have Dystopian Battle Tank by Icetarone, and it is apparently a vanilla Dystopian Battle Tank. Looks really good for vanilla. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to hop in the driver's seat, and we'll push some buttons and see what happens. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Little vent. Whoa! Whoa! All right, this is not what I was expecting. It is A and D. Oh my goodness, this thing is so fast. It is not W A S D to uh to go and steer. This is A and D, and it is so fast for some reason. How is it even that fast in vanilla? This doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, uh, there's that, and then number two is backwards. Number three is to turn left, and then number four, of course, is to turn right. See, this doesn't even. <laughs> This doesn't work right. It's not aligned properly at the back there. It doesn't have the space it needs. All right, I'm assuming number five is going to shoot something, maybe? I don't understand number five. Oh, what? Number five locks the cannon. So the cannon no longer turns, which is actually kind of nice. And now I can actually turn... Oh, there's a suspension glitch steering in the turret itself. That's how it steers like that. And then when the turret is locked, it can actually do that to the entire tank. What kind of dystopian battle tank is this? Look at the moves we can pull, though. This is amazing. Woo! Unfortunately, it doesn't have that actual functional cannon. Uh, it's just there for show. But very cool aesthetic build and super fast and super, super strange. You don't often get an experience like this in a tank. So I appreciate that. All right, and then up next, we have the what? <laughs> this is my happy fish man. The floating steam we don't bar ship all right let's see how the game handles this thing all right well here's the entrance let's get up into this whoa this is so cool look at the spinning whoa man that in and of itself already takes a long time to like build and work out look at that that is so nice all right but you gotta you gotta come back up i'm sorry come back up when you build a steampunk thing you just gotta have spinning stuff in it just arbitrary spinning stuff you know it doesn't actually have to do anything just make sure stuff spins okay all right so we got a nice little lounge area here more you know a lounge covered lounge area we got a bar there's gotta be like is there lighting there is lighting where is this lighting okay it all comes from down there all right can i make my way down there. Oh, even the doors are fancy. Of course, you gotta have fancy doors, too. Here we go. We got some lights. Here we go. I think I just turned on all the lighting. All the important stuff, at least. All right. Is this the driver's seat? Whoa. Okay. Apparently, this is the driver's seat right here. All right. So, that closes the cockpit. Man, look at this. I haven't even explored some of this yet, but you know what? Let's see if I can figure out how this works. Whoa. Here we go. All right. We're going up in the air. It's happening. It is happening. This thing actually flies. Look at this. Are we going forward? There's the turning. Man, look at this thing. This is crazy. Look at these. Look at everything. All right, I want to get up to the top. Uh, there's some stairs over here, I think. All right, what is up here? Oh, just more like eating. It's basically 
It's a steampunk bar. I think that's what the description said. Oh, you got bath, bathtub bars. Look at the, like the water wheel sideways thing. That doesn't really, I don't really know what that's doing. Like I said, you just gotta have spinning things. Pointless spinning things and you, you get steampunk. A brown, pointless spinning stuff. And look at these wings in the back. This is so cool. Man, I cannot imagine how long stuff like this takes to design and like build. And not only that, but then you had to balance it up in the air. Like it's an asymmetrical design. So what was your favorite creation? Let me know down in the comments below. These are all some really high quality creations. I'm definitely gonna have to do more of these because there's a lot more that I did not look at in this video that definitely deserves to be in those videos. And uh, if you have your own creations that you wanna submit to your best builds, if you think think they are top notch like some of these builds then uh, definitely make sure you join the discord down in the link below and if your creation has not made it into a video but you think it should then keep submitting it when uh when we do more your best builds in the future because maybe it just didn't make the cut for that one but it was like almost there anyways if you guys enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrap man and i'll see you next time bye